And welcome back, y'all, to another Falcons franchise stream. The 2017 season is upon us. We have week two versus the Vikings coming up. So let me get these last 20 hours out the way real quick. I'm just going to quickly do this as usual. So, as y'all know, we do have some changes that are different. You know, number one being this quarterback, Dylan Hudson, who did a great job. Matt Ryan is still around, but Hudson, I think, has a higher potential at this point because of the way they made Matt Ryan drop. I mean, look at this. With confidence boost, Matt Ryan is an 84, which means by default he's an 81 overall. So that isn't a good look, you know. Um, and Dylan Hudson with no confidence is an 80 overall. Not to mention, by the way, y'all, if you didn't know, this guy has almost the same abilities as Matt Ryan. I mean, he's very close in the accuracy department, but he's got 87 speed. 87 speed. That is ridiculous for a quarterback to have. So, now granted, if you watch week one, we didn't really do anything with that speed, which is good. You know, I don't want to be forced into, or I don't want to, to, to use it just because it's there. You know, I want it to be one of those things where, the pocket breaks down, and it's like, oh, crap, I need to get out. And now my quarterback has the ability to get outside the pocket. So, you know, like usual, we are going to go through all the things. However, one thing I thought would be interesting to do at the start of this uh, episode here, because the Vikings are the very last team, I want to show you all the quarterbacks and where they are since we're two seasons in. What's up, Rawington? But we're two seasons in, so I figured you all might be curious about who, what quarterbacks are playing where. So... I'll go through that right now for this. And as you can see, Matthew Stafford and Nick Foles are now Bears. That's interesting. Andy Dalton is still there at the Bengals, with Brian Hoyer being third string down there for him. You got a rookie quarterback for the Bills, 81 overall, with Matt Flynn backing him up. That's not bad. Then Ryan Nassib is now a Bronco, with Tom Savage backing him up. Uh... Keith Winning. I'm not sure who he is in real life, but he's a real person. Anybody that you see with experience one or rookie experience, you know, those are the new guys that have been here since we started. Everybody else is actually someone in real life. So I don't know who their quarterbacks are. And as you can see, it looks like the Browns are still struggling, even on here, to find themselves a franchise quarterback. Buccaneers still have Jameis Winston with Blaine Gabbert backing him up. Cardinals have Austin Davis starting with Logan Thomas and Matt Scott backing him up. Chargers still have Phillip Rivers, even at 35 years of age, but Jimmy Garoppolo and Zach Desert down there. Chiefs still have Alex Smith at 33 years old, but they got a rookie quarterback backing him up in Aaron Murray. We got Andrew Luck still with the Colts. That's not surprising, though. Uh, you know, I mean, that's to be expected. Chase Daniel is now the starting quarterback, so no Romo right now. Chase Daniel is the starting quarterback for the Cowboys. With two new people made up on here. Dolphins still have Tannehill with Kirk Cousins backing him up. Eagles have RG3 starting. Yes, you see that right. RG3 has found himself another starting role with the Eagles. And they have Connor Carter, a rookie, and Norman Kelly, another made up person from the year before. You said you wonder who the Falcons have. You saw this, didn't you? We have Matt Ryan. We have Dylan Hudson, who's actually starting right now over Matt Ryan. Um, and Johnny Manziel, and as I mentioned, I'll show you how ridiculous this is. I mean, you see the, the throwing stats are very, very close throughout. But look at this, throw on the run, 85, and then when you go to his awareness is actually better than Matt Ryan, and look at the speed. Unbelievable speed. So that is why Dylan Hudson is starting over Matt Ryan right now. Niners have rookie quarterback Dallas Young with Kaepernick backing him up. We go quickly to the Giants, who have our former backup from last season, Sean Renfrey has found himself a starting job as the quarterback of the New York Giants. That seems to me like Eli either retired or wasn't re-signed. Um, my guess is he retired, though. And Tyrod Taylor there. The Jaguars have Brian Benjamin, another rookie, 84 overall quarterback with Ryan Mallett backing him up. Jets have Zach Mettenberger over here starting for them, 78 overall. Then you go to the Lions. They have somebody named Seth Hopkins. He was a rookie last season on here. Not in real life. He's a made-up guy. With Landry Jones backing him up. Um, Aaron Rodgers is still around. 98 overall with Brett Hundley. 
Then we got the Panthers. Of course, they still have Cam, but then you got Austin Houston, a made-up guy from last year, and then rookie this year. The Patriots have Blake Bortles starting for them, so Tom Brady must be gone. With Pat Devlin and Michael Ward there. Derek Carr is still with the Raiders, of course, and they your backup quarterbacks are terrible, 60 and 59 overall. So they don't have much depth. Rams have a dude, a rookie quarterback named A.J. DeVito. That sounds like a football name to me right there. With Matt Barkley backing him up and Brock Osweiler. Then the Ravens have Joe Flacco, Evan Bryan, a rookie, and Cole Hendricks. And this Evan Bryan looks like he might be the future of the team, seeing as he's only one point away from Flacco. The Skins have Kellen Moore and Mike Glennon, formerly with the uh, Buccaneers. Then they have a Ryan Griffin and a Fernando Griffin. So they like their Griffins there. The Saints still have Drew Brees and Garrett Grayson. And then you have the Seahawks with Russell Wilson and Sam Bradford backing him up, along with Matt Moore. Steelers, Big Ben still there with Matt McGloin as the backup and Case Keenum. Geno Smith is now the starting quarterback for the Texans with Joey Owens, a rookie 75 overall, and Colt McCoy and TJ Yates are back there. So TJ Yates found his way back to the Texans. You got the Titans with Mariota and Scott Tolzien, and look who it is here. Tim Tebow is a Titan. The Titan Tim Tebow. That sounds like a tongue twister. And then finally, we get to the team that we're going to investigate real quick. We got the Vikings, who have Teddy Bridgewater as a starter, Jimmy Clausen, and Christian Ponder as the backups. So that running back, they still got AP there with Brandon Oliver and Jarek McKinnon. They still got Mike. Well, Mike Tober wasn't there before, I don't think. Stevie Johnson is now a Viking with Mike Wallace and Will Guy, a rookie wide receiver. This guy could prove dangerous. I don't know much about him. Um, spectacular catch, 86, 77 route run, 86 release, 96 jump, 98 speed. Holy cow. All right, we will have to keep our eye on this guy right here. That guy is something dangerous. He may even be the return guy, number 82. Just keep an eye out for him. And Danny Amendola rounds it out at the bottom. Vernon Davis, formerly with the Niners, is now on this Vikings team. Then they got two rookie tight ends. They got 77 here, left tackle 88, 83, 91, and 81. So their offensive line, pretty solid, except for the left tackle. We may be able to utilize that a little bit. Here they have a made-up player who was a rookie last year, Darius Phillip, 79 overall. Then they got Brian Robeson and Jason Demanchi. Everson Griffin is still here, or not still here, but he's on this team. With Dan Daniel, Daniel Hunter. I don't know how you say his first name. I don't, I'm don't. i pretty sure it's not Danielle. Uh, then you got Linval Joseph and Mitch Unrian and Shamar Stefan. I don't know most of these people here. Anthony Barr, I do recognize him, though. Obviously, that's a great player. Eric Kendricks is a pretty good player here. With Colin McCarthy and Will Compton. Right outside, you got Lakeem Ratliff, a rookie right outside linebacker. So here you can see the Vikings have some rookies that seem like they may have some impact on this game. 22 years old, 81 overall. This guy looks like 88 tackle, 82 hit power, 84 speed. He's going to be a hard guy to run from here. Um, and he's even got good you know, man coverage for a linebacker at 71 overall. Man, that's not bad at all when you talk about linebackers and the fact that that's not their primary responsibility. At corner, they got Xavier Rhodes, Trey Wayans, Brendan Parker, who's made up, Victor Carter, a rookie, Jamarian Jordan, another rookie, and Alan Lucas. So they got three rookies to round out the bottom half of their corner group and three well, two real vets and then one made-up vet here. So their corners are not deep. They've got one good one, one okay one, and then the rest are terrible. So that could mean that our third, fourth, and fifth string wide receivers could be getting the bulk of the catches in this game. At safety, they got Harrison Smith, 97 overall, free safety. That is impressive. And then strong safety is major right. Yeah. So, and McMahon is a kicker. Okay, that's cool. Well, we're going to go and get this started. We've done enough talking for this game here. We're 1-0. They're 1-0. It's time to get going with this game. I don't know about y'all, but I'm ready to get this one going. I was pumped after the last game. If you got to watch week one, that was an impressive game. Mc, uh, not McManus. See, now McManus is on the brain here. But no, uh, Hudson did an amazing job in that game. Absolutely amazing job in that game. 
I mean, all the throws seem to be on target. Our defense stepped up and made some plays. Granted, you know, we don't know how good that team was that we played relative to everyone else. So we'll see as the season goes along if that was a indicator of how good of a team we have or if that was just us beating up on a weak team. So we'll see. We will see here coming up. Like I said, this Vikings team looks pretty solid. They do have a lot of youth. You said run those drag routes with the slots and take advantage of those bad corners. I may have to do that in this game. I very well may have to do that in this game because those corners were pretty bad. I mean, granted, we didn't look at their man and zone. Maybe it's just awareness as to why they're that bad. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I don't know about y'all, but I'm pumped. So. AP, AP, AP. He's going to be the guy to stop. No touchdowns in his first game of the season, though. And Tevin Coleman dominated in our game. And we should be at the Viking Stadium. Yep. We're here in prime time. Just about set for a Sunday night matchup on EA Sports. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Bill Sims getting set for kickoff and a big primetime game headed your way. The lights are on. The excitement's building, Bill. Yeah, Jim, it's it's great environment when you talk about night games and the players. I am worried about that wide receiver they have, though. That guy has been sticking in my mind here, number 82. So I might try to make sure I know where he is at all times and make sure our safety stay back. Let's go, rookie wide receiver, Trey Robinson. This little fast dude right here, man. I got to come up with a nickname. If y'all come up with a nickname for Trey Robinson, let me know. And with that kick, we're underway. Decent return. I'll take it. The hole kind of closed up on him, but I'll take it. So the rookie quarterback, it's not his first. Dylan Hudson, field, let's go. Still getting his feet wet in the NFL. Yeah, you know, Jim, and every week it just gets a little easier, better. When you walk out there, you can settle those nerves down faster each game you each game you play. So it's gonna be fun to see how he does here today. The Falcons go with two tight ends on this play. First down at the 28. Trying to find an open to the right. There we go. Nice run to start things out. Tevin Coleman getting 14 yards. Sort of like to see. I thought he was going to get caught at the line right there at first. Because that looked awfully close. How is he tired? One run. One run and he's already doggone yellow. Somehow his endurance of stamina. Oh my gosh. Where did DeMarco go, man? DeMarco left me alone out there. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. All right, that's fine. Quarterback likes what he sees out there outside. He's changing the play. With the there we go, Jermaine Gresham. Yeah, Tevin Coleman does seem like he just want to run and chill. Like, I did my run. Take me out. Because I knew now that there were a lot of things that could take place. I could afford to take sacks. I could uh, afford to be a little more aggressive. Let's see I may test Hudson's speed at some point in this game. I really might. First down at the 44. Oh! oh. After a game Come on, four. left tackle. Here's our look at the Falcons offense. A model of efficiency a week ago without a single giveaway. And it'll be second down and six after the running play on first down. There we go, Dellens Brandon, the one-year vet right there. Still doing his thing opposite of Julio. throw for a quarterback to make in the NFL is the curl route because you can see the receiver. His body is square to you. Drill it in there. Nice job. They come to the line at the 24. Let's see if Humano Anui want to catch one here. First down at the 24. 
There we go. Oh, fighting forward for the yards. Fighting forward for the yards. I ran the drag. I did that just for you right there. I know you've been calling for it. Play number six coming up on this drive. Falcons this time will go with two tight ends. And he'll hand it off to the Let's go. Let's go. DeMarco getting up in there. Good job by the offense getting the first down in the red zone. Now it becomes tricky. Can you deceive the defense where you get a chance to get a score? The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. The Vikings defense. Let's see if we got it here. Extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. The Boom. Dellens, Brandon for the touchdown. First receiving touchdown of the season. Hopefully not the last. And the Falcons are starting off the game hot here. This is game of the week, too? Oh, we got to show out this game. This is either a Sunday night or a Monday night game, then we have got to show out this week. We got to let the league know. The crowd all quiet and everything. That's what I like to hear. Silence. Yep, it was a perfect throw by Huddy. Vikings are ready to return the kickoff. Let's go. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. All right. We got to keep an eye on number 82. Quarterback today. Now an experienced quarterback. He's got 232 yards passing and two touchdowns after the first game. Okay. All right. We can handle that. First and ten. Uh, let's <clears throat> let's come out in a regular set. First down at the twenty, and a flag comes out. On the what? That's got to be a hold, though. That has got to be a hold. Yeah, twenty-eight and eighty-two. I got to keep an eye on both of them. Anybody with a two or an eight, dog on it. Holding on defense. Holding on defense. All right. That's crazy. All right, though. You know what? Fine. The Falcons defense now is going to go nickel. Here's the handoff to Adrian Peterson. There we go. Adrian Claiborne getting to Peterson right away. That's what I like to see. Here's a look at the Vikings offense. Last week, they never turned the football over once. They're coming out and that again. Yeah, 82, you see him on the right side. Guy is over there. Adrian Peterson is in the backfield. Yeah, we got the Teddy Bridgewater that time. He goes ahead and throws it away. And here's the Falcons defense. Last week, this group came up with three forced turnovers. Third and eight coming up after the incompletion. All right. Defense need one more stop here. What? That was a sack. That was very short. That was a sack. As the defense steps up and makes another nice go. DJ Hayden must be holding his own against him. I expect a guy to be having more of a breakout performance here. They robbed me of a dog on sack though. I'm so upset about that. So far here early in this game. I was thinking we had forced the fumble right there. And that punt is going out of bounds. They are not gonna allow them to return it. Still a good defense to stop, though. We're okay with that. Offense gets the ball here again. Get to make something happen. No question about that, Jim. They gotta come out, they gotta hustle. There was not enough hustle last time, and the number one key for all defensive teams is play hard. Way to call him out there, partner. Hey, that's what I do. I like to call him. There we go. Got it on the 
Oof. Hard hit right there, but we're all right. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Two tight ends on the field here. Oh, no. We didn't really block on that one right there. He said guy had that crazy first catch. Oh, that was guy on that first catch. Okay. But they called the holding on us anyway on that. Falcons facing third down. A week ago, they were not up to the challenge. The Falcons have to get to the 33 for a first. Oh. Oh, they are not biting. They are not biting on any play action right there. I'm just glad Hudson was able to get the pass off right there. Okay. Falcons are getting set to punt. Get him, get him. This punt will be returned. That picks up 11. All right, all right. And that will close out the first quarter in Minneapolis, Minnesota. We'll return in just a moment. You're watching the NFL on EA. That was not the way I wanted our dog on defensive drive to go. That was not it at all. Been a tight first half. Five passes, no Julio targets. They're playing off of Julio. I gotta, you know, I can't throw it to them like that when they're playing off of him like that. And I was gonna do a little hitch route underneath, but they put somebody else out there in coverage on him. You know, they're they're pretty much doubling Julio. It's always good when your quarterback is able to deceive. He'll get it though. He should get it. Hopefully. That's what did it that time. Look at the quarterback. Nice fake. Defense reacts to the run. And now you throw it over the top for the easy completion. Short there it is. There it is. Fairly and our other guy. I can't remember his name now. But Fairly and our other guy got to him. When you get a defensive tackle. Short. There it is. And sack the quarterback. That is something special. Great job that time by the big D tackle. Oh. The Falcons lined up in the nickel. The Vikings snap it at the 41. Oh! Oh! They caught them blocks barely getting there. I thought we had some plays made on them. still got a close game here, and you got to try to keep it that way. It's third and long, and you're losing the football game. Don't take a chance on the offensive side. Wait for your next opportunity. Out of the shotgun. He'll throw it over the middle. Pick it! Oh! Where's the pick? This flag better not be on us. There we go. Decline that. Fourth down. Yep. That that's, uh, that uh, does that sack does go get credited to Vic Beasley right there for covering the screen. And it'll be cold quit back to punt. All right, offense. We had a great first drive and then nothing. And the punt is 23 yard line. Good. I'll take that punt. I will take that punt all day and twice on Saturday. The Falcons got absolutely nothing out of their previous possession. And here they are back on the field. Another three and out, I would have to think, would be very demoralizing to this team right now. Yeah, wow. Into the offense, but I'll tell you who's gonna be Our wide receivers aren't holding their blocks. Wait a minute now. On the sidelines and get a little rest. So I know there's a lot of pressure on this offense right now. Yeah, I know. Offense needs to get something going here. Give our defense a, a breather. Get the first. See, there's your Julio catch. I don't know if receivers like this route or not. The quick slant route. DJ Hayden, two interceptions last week and had a great pass breakup on third and 12. Yeah, he did. He definitely did. He's playing well. I have no complaints about DJ Hayden right now. He has been playing outstanding for us. I'm glad we signed him in free agency.
There we go. First down at the 38. Looking across the middle. Nice Just going to take the easy pass here. I ain't doing nothing fancy. When you see zone defenses, throw it into the open spaces. That's what the quarterback did that time. Good job by the receiver running in there and making the catch. That short pass play picked up six. It's now second down and four. Here we go. Coleman's Boom. Touchdown here, right here. This is gone. This is gone. Go, Coleman. Go, Coleman. The five. Touchdown. What? Yes. Oh, man. I was about to say, it looked like they weren't going to give it to me for a second. First time this season. Let's go. Hudson with that nice little dump off pass on the screen to Coleman. Coleman taking it to the house. The Falcons lined up now for the point after. Let's go. Dog on it. The Falcons kicking team comes out now as the offense takes a break and they deserve one after going down the field, mainly through the air with over 70 yards passing. Oh, I thought we were going to light him up. Putty's second touchdown today. Heck yeah, it is. Heck yeah. The Vikings stalled on their last On target drive. passes, the too. So now the offense comes back out onto the field. Yeah, they're coming back out. They lack confidence, and I understand why. They came out, couldn't get anything done. The defense was flying around, making the plays. Uh, they got a chance. 82 on the left. Game. Guy. The Vikings take it from the 23. Ooh, <laughs> Beasley forced him into Claiborne. Another sack on the game. Let's go. Ah, uh, not a good job by the quarterback that time. Inside of two minutes in the first half, you got to get rid of the football. Nobody's open. Just throw it they away. They threw 82 on the right he side this time. By taking the sack. And the pass is complete to Wallace. Oh, he got That's open. his first reception today. You know, you go to the hurry-up offense so you can get a high number of plays in, but also you don't want to use the timeout. Two hands on the Oof. ball and has the catch. What the heck, man? What do we call? All right, I'm okay with that. We'll go no huddle. First down at the 50. There's a flag out. Pass is made. Finally. It knocks the ball out. Good night. You said you'd like to see a better pass rush? Yeah, me too. Holding on the offense. Let's accept that. Is of course going to be accepted by the defense. The Vikings come to the line with a bunch set. First and 20. Over the middle Oof. and incomplete that time. That was a little close. Really that was a little close. Like Anytime you're on that field as an athlete, and when you give all your effort to every single play like that time, how about that? Just giving every bit of effort he can to make the catch. Not able to get it. But what a job in it. Bridgewater's back in shotgun formation. Boom. Let's go. Let's go, Beasley. What is it now? What? Oh, they called DJ Hayden for holding. Come on, man. That was a beautiful play. Don't take the sack away from us. First down at the 45. Good defense. Good defense, Alfred. Second and ten coming up. There we go. Second and ten. We need to stop here. Bridgewater's gonna take it from the gun. We got Bridgewater scared, I think. I really do. I really do. Third 
down. I don't see any need to change it up. The Vikings all bunched up here as they get Oh snap, no array is in. Ridgewater's got it in the gun. Brings it in get him. Vincent Ray on the tackle. Stopped him short. Good job by the defense. Uh, they're well taught, well schooled by the defensive coordinator. They know in situations like this, if it's thrown short on yep. the first down. Halftime, I'll take it. Good. They come up, make the tackle. Now we have fourth down. The teams head to the locker room, and we'll be heading to the studio to our pal Larry Ridley as you watch the NFL on EA Sports. I will Sports. take it. Thanks, Jim, and welcome to the EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's take a look back at the first half. The Vikings are on the bad Only 35 rushing home. yards, though. We'll 114 passing around. yards. That's the not Falcons bad. came in prepared for this game, and it shows in the way they've played. I'm surprised the Vikings so haven't run it more than they have. Some of the highlights from the first half. I really am. With a running back like Adrian right, Peterson, I would have thought they would have been trying to run all day. And halftime, we're gonna if you remember when we played the Vikings, I think it was two seasons ago. That's who gave us trouble was AP. The ball will be spotted at the 20. The Falcons defense had a strong first half performance and here they are to begin the third quarter. Once That's again, all right, though. the stop and turn things over to their offensive unit, Phil. Anytime you have a strong first half performance, what do you look for in the second half? You've got to be alert on the defensive side. Look for something that's different. Whoa. <laughs> Ooh, that dude is fast. What a play. What a run. That dude is fast. Oh my goodness. We cannot give him that much time again. That's what I was worried about too. He just burned our DBs. That's what this league is about. You practice all Holy cow. All right. And then on the fly in 10 minutes you might have to change what you're thinking. They did it, and it got them right back in this game. Oh man! Yeah, we we gotta send we gotta send five at least every time. At least five every time, I think, at this point, because that was too much time when we only sent four. Really? That's where we're gonna stop. Okay. Why are you tired? Why are you tired, Coleman? You had a halftime break. Okay. Oh, they're pressing Julio here. Second down and seven. No, <laughs> I was trying to throw it off. What happened to our blocking? So many times are in charge of stopping a run, but not this time. The big fella, good move at the snap of the football, gets it. Oh my goodness! Now they're starting to gain some confidence out here. Third and a long way to go. Out of the pocket. He's brought down. That's gonna bring. Boy, Dylan did not feel like he had no 87 speed there. Getting a few yards there with the run, you know, when you when you play against him, of course, uh, anytime he drops back to pass, you've got to be alert for the run. You sure? Because it feels like you're running tired too. He'll have a chance for a return. He's going to be tackled right around the 46-yard line. That return's good for about nine. The Vikings bring their offense back on the right. field. Touchdown drive the last time they had it as they attacked that secondary. They sure did. They Do not the let him get any room. Drive. And now I would think as an offensive coordinator, they're thinking pass on the defensive side. Switch it up. And I think you can catch him with some good runs here. There it is. Like I said, don't even let him get it off, dog. On it. Get after him. Corners down the NFL. They're asked to do so many things. Stop the run. Cover guys in zone. Cover them in man-to-man -man coverage. And how about this blitz that time by the corner? Gets to the quarterback and takes him down for the sack. The Falcons. No! I was trying to freaking get the thing. Ah. I was trying to get out of the zoomed view. Hate it when it gets locked in that zoomed view, man. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's trying to guess the snap count, and it cost him there. And now, after the penalty, it's second down and 15. Pick it. Oh, good play. Good play, Jalen Collins. Third down, about three and a half minutes to go here in the third quarter. The Vikings will set up. The 44 is the first down line. Ball start on them. Push them back. Push them back, dog on it. Offense. Yep. After that last flag, the offense now with an unenviable task of third and 20. The Vikings are at the line of scrimmage with a pair of backs split behind the quarterback. Holding. That's a hold for real. They tackled me. I don't know if y'all saw the way they handled Vic Beasley right there, but they tackled the crap out of Beasley. Yep, push him back. Third and 30, dog on it. Third down after the penalty. Bridgewater standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. <laughs> we got him scared out there, dog. This defense has really led the way so far. They've been terrific through two and a half quarters. Now they just need their offense to hold up their side of the bargain. This game is definitely closer than the, end, uh, the last one. On third down, getting off the field. But let's be honest here. The other team's offense, it stinks. Jim, they're so bad, you and I could go over there, play on defense, and probably have success. Oh. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. Looking at some of these stats now, it's surprising to see how much the passing game has fallen off since the start of this one, Phil. Yeah, there's a Did lot that say zero for zero in the third? Wow. The coverage has been better. The pass rush has picked up. And the biggest thing of all, the quarterback... Can we, oh, my gosh. Waynes is able to read that play and make the hit. Defense has ruled to... Subbing him out. I could look into that, yeah. I could definitely look into doing that. I'm going to be honest. It's fun to watch. Every once in a while, I like to see the offense take a beating. To this, the NFL, it's all about the offense. It's nice to see the defense dominate. The Falcons have it at the 29. Go, Brandon. There we go. That's his third catch of the day. The slant route is not used as much as it used to be in the NFL because defensive linemen read quarterbacks now better than ever, and they jump up to knock those passes down. But that time they didn't get it done. The slant route is caught. It comes up a couple yards Let's short. Let's see if we can get Coleman down. out in the open here. Third and three. Coleman's the receiver on the There screen. it is. There, oh, face mask. Call the face mask. There it is. Defense. Yep. Except oh, that. Got yanked back the other way. An obvious face mask penalty, and that's a big one. It's about safety of the players, too. That's why when you grab, hit the helmet in certain situations, it's going to be a 15-yard penalty. Don't grab. All right, I usually don't like these kind of Let's plays, but we'll try this little quick screen. That, huge play. Makes the reception. that is why I don't like those kind of plays, but I figure I'd give it a chance. Opportunity is very small. Quarterbacks with strong arms can still fire it in there. Nice throw right on target by the QB. We put in the backup on this. Only Get Chris Ivory carry here. Second down and ten. And Ivory's taking the handoff. They don't want us to go nowhere, I'll tell you that much. You give a lot of to no, the I did not want to call that. Let's switch it up. Just a quick drop back. Throws the pass. 
Well, I was trying to hit Jermaine Gresham, but he started running back to me. The Falcons don't have a lot of options on third and long I'm okay situations. with this. I am. Complete, and the defense did a good job of staying back there. Perfect. And not giving up the deep throw. The kick in. It's through there. The kick is I'm good. definitely okay with that. Their lead a little more secure now, thanks to the kicker. And with the fourth quarter upon us, Bill, they've got to be feeling pretty good about things. Oh, I think they are. That field goal just gave it an emotional lift. Everything they've done all day has been positive. And, boy, they're going to be tough to beat. No return here. This will be coming out to the 20. <clears throat> All right. The Vikings offense is on the field, hoping to erase the memory of their last drive, which was completely No 82, right? All right. Quick three and out. Yeah, it was. I don't know if they can erase this defense. This defense is pretty good. We saw that in the last drive. They got good players, and they're pretty excited. So this is going to be tough on the offense. <laughs> oh, we're a little lit AP up. He's got three carries, 14 yards. Let's go. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. This will probably be the last play of the quarter. Peterson will get it on the toss. Steps out of Vincent Ray slowed him down enough for uh, Southward to make that tackle. Did not like the hole that he was given there, though. Here they come back to the line after picking up over 20 yards on that last play. Final quarter underway now with this snap. Look at that concentration. God, that's no. that's his that guy, guy is something else, man. Four catches, 130 yards. In the second half, you're looking for the little things to get momentum on your side. So just get a first down. Don't look for the big plays. That was a good job by the offense that time. Bridgewater's completion percentage, 50% on the day. Peterson's tackle. Unbelievable. All right, all right. We got to find an answer. They did, but that throw catch that time, Jim. It also gives them a chance for three more downs. Playing press coverage to the outside. First down at the 23. There it is. <clears throat> Let's go. Let's go. Who was that? You know, oh, Jalen Collins on that one. Okay. You know what? Let's do it again. I don't know. They can get off the press. Well, Mike Wallace might, but. Oh, on them. Push him back again. And that'll cost them five yards. <coughs> oh yeah, let me do that real quick then. There you go. Coming to the line at the 35. Here we go, here we go. Second and 22. Double tight end formation. The Vikings will take the snap from the 35. Holding. Out. Holding. Please be holding. holding. Defense. Defense? Oh, my gosh. They look for any reason to call us on that. They, they do. come to the line of scrimmage. First down. Oh, oh, Beasley got to him. What? They don't like me doing this here, man. The line of scrimmage, the 25 yard line. They really don't. The Vikings at the line of scrimmage with their set of receivers in a bunch formation. Bridgewater by himself in the backfield. To the sideline and complete. 
That was Durant in coverage that time. Say about that play, Jim. It was a completion by the quarterback, and it picked up a couple yards. Play number six coming up on this drive. You ready? Second down and six. The give. Tackles made, and the first down is. Yeah, Vic Beasley is getting robbed. He definitely is. It's a very smart punter. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. When you get down in the red zone, the offensive coordinator's got to call a play that deceives the defense. Let's see if he can do it. His team is down. He there we go. Warlo making that read right there. This will be the eighth play of this drive. Falcons with two extra defensive backs in the dime. Second and ten. We'll go there it is. Beasley's all over the ball carrier. The Vikings think they're doing a good job this time by running the football. And making them waste down. the clock, that's and for certain. They, do, they lose a couple yards. Now you have third long. You better be careful in this situation. See, why didn't he line up over him? That's what I wish they would do. Like, that's his job. He's supposed to be lined up over him, but he ain't. It takes courage by an offensive coordinator in the fourth quarter, and you're behind to run the football, but he shows that courage. He runs it. And I even and told him to man a line on that one, too. Big pickup that time by the offense. The kick is good. Let's go. Held him to a field goal. Yeah, that was a good job that time by the defense. They were bending. So offense, all we got to do is move well, the ball. Catches it at the two and starts his return. There it is. Let's go 98 speed. Let's go 98 speed. <laughs> oh, he got him with the stop move. He got him with the stop like move. When you talk about Let's see players. that again. Good blocking. The speed of the returner gets down the field. That was the kicker running that fast. You realize the kicker just kept it with a 98 speed guy. The Vikings defense on that last series may have taken some oh my positives goodness. out of only allowing a field goal. Well, listen, I think three is better than seven. No question about that when you're talking about the defense, but they got some corrections to make. I think they did it on the sidelines, and this time they're looking to go out there and get a three and out. Met by bar that time. Got two minute warning here. The See, the good thing is we're already in range. Quarter. We're already you're in field goal you're range. On the offensive side, you find out if you can really run the football in these situations. That time, short gain on the run. The Falcons are in a much closer game today, but still find themselves up on the scoreboard after a decisive victory last time out. When you practice in training camp and even during the week of games in the NFL, you always practice that the game is going to be tight, it's going to be close, oh, and yeah. you're going to pull out those plays that are going to win the game for us. <laughs> no, that's not weird that a white dude has 98 speed. I've seen it before on here on a previous Madden way back when. Will take the penalty. You know, though, if you think about, like, Falcons history, there we had a, you used to have a white guy that was pretty fast, a dude named uh, Tim Dwight. Way back, not way back when, but, you know, 15-plus years ago. Tim Dwight was pretty good, too, but he was one fast little son of a gun. Following the penalty, it sets up second down and 19. Made. Stay on your feet. Oh man, if he stayed on his feet, he was gone. I'm not doing anything fancy. Third down coming up. And Ivory's got it on the handoff. There it is. And that's going to bring us to fourth down. And they'll try to Let's kick this field goal here. And lining up for a 44-yard field goal. Make it. And Boom. He 
starts here on the 10 point game. Line. Let's go. Phil, that's a field goal that all but clinches it. Yeah, it did, Jim. And listen, it's been an exciting day and a good day for the offense. And how appropriate that field goal drive. It just gave them the victory. The Vikings are ready to return the kickoff. Let's go. That's a touchback. 20 to 10 here. A minute 43 left in the game. All we got to do is make sure that fast wide receiver doesn't beat us. If we can do that, we're good. Last possession, Phil, but had to be a letdown because they were really moving the football oh i think you're right they had to be let down you, you execute so many good plays going down the field and you just need that true off. fun and that will all but do it. yeah he has no interceptions in two games and he probably won't get one in this one because of the fact that i'm not going to throw it anymore either basically ices it it does you know sometimes when you're behind as a quarterback you take a chance and that time the chance was just Hudson's great. doing good man Hudson's defense. doing very good the Falcons bring their offense onto the field the last time they had control of the football they did not come away I will say the Vikings run defense is a lot better than the last team we played though they aren't letting me get what I want to get they got some points up there that always makes you feel good on the offensive side now take advantage of that good feeling. Go out there and score a touchdown this time. Let's see if they can. They are not letting me get what I want to get. They bring in the extra tight end. Second and nine. Hand off. Yeah, true fun been playing well too. But just running the football, then you just run the football. Take no chances. Keep two hands around it at all times, and don't worry about the extra yard. Now Let's go. Third and four, following the run. Toss play. Boom. There we go. Keeping ivory in bounds, making sure that clock moves. Well, that's just the right call to make in this situation. Just run the football. Don't try to be some genius and catch the defense off guard. Manage the clock and just get this game over with. Outside now on the toss. That'll work. Coleman's tackled down at the 24. And that will do it. And the Falcons are now 2-0. That's what we needed to see from our team right there. We didn't get a lot of rushing yards, but we got enough to win the game. Passing-wise, we had two touchdowns. That big pass on the screen to Tevin Coleman was probably the highlight pass. Although the earlier one, too, to uh, Brandon in the uh, corner of the end zone, that was also, well, not corner, but he was heading toward the corner of the end zone. That was also a nice one. So this team is shaping up to be a competitive team here, you know, finding ways to get things uh, handled out there. Hudson doing well so far. No interceptions. I think he's thrown like five touchdown passes or so on the season. You know, he had two in this game. I, I believe he had three last game. I could be wrong about that. But, yeah, what a game, though. What a game. So, for Bill Sims and all the crew at EA Sports, Jim Nance saying so long for now. They beat it. We only had 130 passing yards. Wow, that is very unimpressive on passing yards. 244 actually, but the, the sacks are what pushed us back. So, but it is what it is. We got after them, we won the game. That's what matters. You say, can I check season stats? Yeah, I can. And then, let's see. Let's see. So we completed a weekly goal. Cool. You said you wanted to see season stats. So let's go over here. Player stats for the season. Hudson. Only three touchdown passes. Okay, I guess I was wrong. I thought we had more with uh, as many points as we scored last time. So he's got almost 300 yards passing. You know, his QB rating, 154.6. Good night. 19 completions out of 25 attempts for a 76 percentage completion percent. That is awesome. 
Only two sacks. They both came in this last game, I believe. Um, yards per attempt, 11.9. Average yards per game, 149.0. That's not bad for Hudson at all. Hudson's doing his thing out there. And then we got Coleman over here, 215 rushing yards by himself. Ivory has 74. Ivory actually has two rushing touchdowns. But that's because in that first game, Ivory was coming in to, to, to pick up the runs for the touchdown after Coleman would get tired. I don't know what is up with him, though. His stamina or something is off. But um, he's doing a good job receiver-wise. Dellens Brandon is leading the pack right now. Six catches on the year for 66 yards and one touchdown. Julio has three for 68 and a touchdown. Coleman has three for 82 and a touchdown. So, you know, we've been spreading the ball out. Hit, what, like seven or eight different receivers? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different receivers so far. So that's pretty good. We don't care so much about that, although I am curious if anybody let up a sack. Yep. Our center let one go and our left guard. Those were both in this game, too. Remember when I was like, why did they come through untouched? Um, but other than that, though, we're doing all right. Defensively, let's see. Total tackles goes to Warlow, hands down. He's got 17 total tackles so far this season. Next closest on our team is Southward with nine. He's got four tackles for a loss. He's got how many sacks we got here? One and a half by Claiborne and Fairley. Warlow's got a half a sack. Beasley with a half a sack. Hayden, Collins, Noah Ray, and Kawan Short. All with half a sex. You said Ivory is faltering? Or vault? Oh, you said vaultering, like vaulting over the, uh, the, the top, yeah. On interceptions, we got DJ Hayden with two, and Desmond Trufant getting his one. So, you know, Hayden's been doing a good job, minus all those penalties. So that'll be one thing I think I may have to look into for Hayden is up in his discipline, you know. Um, pass deflection wise, we got four people with four pass or with pass deflection each. Nobody's really allowed any catches. I don't know if we've had any force fun. Oh, Janoris Jenkins did force one. And no defensive touchdowns yet this year. So that's not bad though. We've got a solid defense. When you look at just solo tackles, I'm curious. Is that Wurlo? Yep, Wurlo as well. So Wurlo is the tackling machine on this team. Hands down. He's everywhere. But you know what? You expect that out of your middle linebacker. You really do. You really, really do. So, more props to him for doing all of that there. Oh, let's also look at weekly awards from week one as well. We don't get any. Darn. I was hoping that uh, DJ Hayden might have been on this list, but I guess not. So, we're going to go ahead and advance, and then I may stop the stream, but let's see who we got coming up. Buccaneers next on the list. Let's see what their record is, too. And we should also have access to scouting, finally. So we're 2-0. and oh, They're 1-1. One and one. That's a great way to be right there. We're on top of our NFC South division right now, too. I don't know, by the way, if y'all care to see a lot of these news stories and whatnot. You know, I mean, they are here, but I know I hardly ever go through them. Aaron Donald being re-signed. Six year, $92.5 million. Good night. Zach Martin, six years, 38.4 mil. Aaron Rodgers, two year extension, 42.9 mil. That's like 22, 21 mil a year. Ansa, six years, 92.5 mil. Good night. You know what? We should actually look to see who we might have to re-sign. Yeah, we should take a quick look. Because I'm curious who, who our re-signings are for this season. Hopefully nobody big. Let's see. Durant, his, he's up. Jake Matthews is up. Freeman, Southward. Smith. Ricardo Lockett, he may be gone. Spruill may be gone. Person may be gone. I don't know if I'm going to re-sign those. But these other guys, though... Yeah, I may want to try to keep him. Freeman should be, I should be able to get him for cheap since he hasn't been doing much. Yeah, look at that. Four years, three point. Here, we'll do this. 3.8 mil. That That's real cheap for a running back of his caliber. And 
and he signed awesome we also want to keep southward but he may ask for more oh nope he ain't even asking for that much two years 1.76 mil Yeah, we're going to offer him 1.8. I'm fine with that. I thought he'd be asking for more since he's kind of like our starting free safety right now. And he signed. We're on a roll right now. Let's get another one here. Jake Matthews, left tackle. Five years, 19.3 mil. Oh, we're running out of cap space. I did not see our cap room. Yeesh. Okay. But he is a disciplined player. Five years. What does he want? 19.3 mil. Yeah. I wouldn't mind locking him up for five years. I'll tell you that much. Negotiating. That's questionable. And then we got Durant here as well. Three years. I don't know if we're going to have enough to pay him. Because we got 3.97. We may not have enough here. Yeah, we're negotiating on both of those. These, The rest of these folks may have to go unless we can find somebody else to either cut or trade. I mean, I think Matt Ryan is still on the doggone trading block. Let me see if there's anyone else I'm willing to put on the trading block. Uh, let's see, let's see. I'm actually okay if Lockett want to go on a trading block. Oh, he's been on the trading block. Okay, never mind. You said Durant is 31. Yeah, he is. He didn't accept it, so we don't have to keep offering him. That's a good thing. Uh, Hankerson is staying put. You know what? I wouldn't mind trading Hardy. Oh, he's on the trading block already, too. See? There's some players that people just aren't interested in. Jermaine Gresham and Humano Anui are staying here. Beasley, Mapunga. Like... I don't know. I can look at trades real quick and see if I can get something for somebody. Like let's uh let's look for a team. Wait, I didn't want to go to the trade block. I wanted to manual trade here. I want to look for a team that needs a quarterback. There we go. Redskins need a quarterback. I would not mind taking some picks from them. I don't even need any players. Just give me some picks. They don't have any good picks. Here, we'll go two fourth rounders. How about that? Ryan and Lockett together? I could. Let's see, first of all, if they have any interest in Matt Ryan. None whatsoever. Do they have any interest in Lockett? Probably not, because they don't really need a wide receiver. Yeah, they got no interest in either one of these guys. Here, I'll do this though. Whoa, they took Matt Ryan for two fourths. All right, well, I guess he's off the team. You said get a first for him? Well, it's too late now. It's too late, dog on it. I didn't think they'd take that trade. I really didn't. See, there's no indicator to show you like live interest. Like, oh yeah, heck yeah, we'll take this. Or, no, we won't really take this. So you can't really judge, you know, how much they're looking forward to it. Kind of feel cheated again. This is why I don't trade a lot. I feel like I just gave up something for nothing. <laughs> Sign another QB. I could. I was going to see, because I'm sure he's starting for the Redskins now. Yeah, look at that. They got five quarterbacks over there. 
But I do know that Matt Ryan's on the decline. Although he's better than anything they had. They gave him number five. What the heck? I don't even know if I really need another QB. But I can look at free agents real quick. Who's for cheap? Jay Cutler. I don't know how I'd feel about having Jay Cutler backing me up. Who's this? Bruce Krakowski. Oh, you know what? I value deep accuracy the most for a quarterback. I do. So we'll look at him like that off of deep accuracy and just go down. Yep. All right. We got Drew Stanton, Kellen Clemens, Ryan Fitzpatrick, Derek Anderson, Chad Henney. All these guys are so old on here. Good night. Jay Cutler, Ryan Lindley. Oh, well. I think we're just going to go ahead and um, go with Drew Stanton. I mean, one-year deal. We don't have to keep him around. And he takes up that fourth spot on the... Or third spot at quarterback here. Let's look at our depth chart real quick. Yeah, with Manziel and then Stanton. I'll, I'm okay with that. It just feels weird not seeing number two. Let's see what they said about that. I'm sure they said something. And then I'll probably end it here. Nope, they didn't mention it. Yeah, they sure enough didn't mention it. Okay, cool. EJ Manuel was in free agency. <laughs> All right. Well, listen, I hope you enjoyed watching it. You know, I know I enjoyed playing it. I'm going to go ahead and get off of this for a bit. I may stream another later on tonight. I don't know. It just depends on how I feel. Uh, but I hope that y'all do have a good night or good evening or good morning or whenever you're watching this. Um, but I'll talk to you later on. See you next time.